Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, we have reached the Friday cliffhanger. In this episode, we got some stuff to talk about. First, we see Liam confront Thomas about Hope. We also see Hope confessing to her mom that she has feelings for Thomas. And Hope is sobbing her apology to Thomas, who overheard Hope calling him unstable to her mom. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for May 19th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So let's head over to Spencer Publications, where, of course, we see Liam and Wyatt talking about their favorite subject once again. And I'll give you guys three guesses as to what it is. You're right. It's Thomas. Man, it's almost like we're watching Groundhog Day because we keep seeing the same scene over and over again. So Liam talked about how passionate Hope was when she came home from her trip. And for that, Liam, you know what? Send Thomas some flowers and some candy. Liam left. Wyatt asked, whoa, 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 where are you going? He tells Wyatt that he hasn't exactly looked into Thomas' eye since the incident in San Francisco. Well, your wife sure has, Liam, and he said that he'll feel better if he figure out if there's a vibe somewhere, whatever that means, Liam. So let's head over to Forrester Creations where we see Hope and Thomas are in the office and they're going over one of his designs. Now, Hope, she's flashing back thinking about their conversation when Thomas told her that she loves her family and that she will always want to be with Liam and nothing is going to come between the two of them. Then she started thinking about that hug and looking passionately into his eyes. And yeah, the door is cracked though. And that means somebody will be eavesdropping on their conversation. And of course, look who it is, none other than Brooke. She's getting an eye and an ear full doing that whole famous eye squint that Brooke normally does. So then Brooke finally make her presence known and ask if they will ever stop working. Well, we know you do. I mean... Brooke, really, exactly. What do you do at Forrester besides wandering the halls? Hope then asked her mom, uh, Mom, how long have you been standing there? Uh, Hope, you seem a little bit worried by asking that question. Brooke said, well, long enough to see how well the two of you are getting along. Now, Thomas took that as his cue to leave. And Hope asked Brooke, look, what is it? You've been burning a hole through me since you walked in this room. Uh, Brooke was like, "Uh, my question to you is, what is on your mind, though? Now, Brooke told Hope that, look, you got an amazing life with wonderful kids. Brooke tells her that she recognizes some signs that's really concerning to her, and it's her closeness with Thomas and the way she looks at him, and asks if there's something going on between her and Thomas. Brooke told Hope, look, Thomas was obsessed with you like Brooke is with Ridge. Hope says that they're just friends. Brooke says knowing how Thomas operates, she knows that he would have came up with a scheme for them to share a room in San Francisco. Uh, Brooke, probably something that you would actually do. However, Hope told her, look, you're wrong about all of that. So while all of that's going on across the hall, and I got to say, I am so sick of Liam getting in Thomas's face. I mean, if you got issues with your wife, Liam, take them up with her. Stop running the staffy and Thomas. Evidently, you just don't trust your wife. Why would you? I mean, she cheated with you and she will cheat on you. You need to thank Thomas for all those recent romantic evenings you had with Hope on the floor and on that sofa. Thomas needs to tell Liam not to come to him regarding his wife anymore. Liam asked if the situation was reversed and Thomas was married to Hope and he was the one that pulled all the stunts he did. Would he trust him? And I mean, that's rich coming from Liam. How many years did he string both Steffi and Hope along, pitting the two of them against each other? Can we take it all the way back to 2008? Thomas tell Liam he has moved on, but Liam told Thomas, yeah, I can't buy the whole change man story. Uh, Liam, then that's a you problem. Now back across the hall in the CEO office, Brooke is still badgering Hope, saying that if Thomas is out of line, I need to know. Hope finally told her mom, look, it's not Thomas, it's me. Gotcha. Brooke was like, what? 
She knows the kind of person Thomas is. Now that door is still cracked and Thomas is listening. Hope says, yes, he is mentally unstable and manipulative and she don't want anything to do with him. She told Brooke nothing will ever happen between her and Thomas. Thomas came in on the wrong end of that conversation. Brooke left and Thomas walked in the door. He tells Hope he was heading out. She asked if Thomas heard any of that and she apologized and she was sobbing and begging. He's changed and that's not who he is anymore. He was like, uh, okay. She said, no, it's not. And she doesn't think that about him. It's, and we all know it's the opposite. But she said that she's so, so sorry. See, that's what you get. I mean, obviously, Thomas is now looking at you with a side eye. And you know what? I don't blame him. Hey, Thomas, go and date Petra. I know she's waiting for you. Okay, so there you have it. Your bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, May 19th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.